Hey, how's it going, Adriana? This is Jack with Rocketship SEO. I talked to you here this morning, um, and I'm just doing this video analysis that I promised you. Uh, sorry about the bit of a delay. We actually, one of the tools that we use um, was actually down for a little while, and I didn't want to re do a recording until I actually have that up. And it's finally up, so I'm doing this recording now. So um, let me go ahead and um, show you a few things that I see with the back end of your website, as well as the front end of your website, and kind of what's feasible and what we can do to help, all right? So the first thing I did was I used a, a tool called ARAPS, which is a tool that search marketers like myself can take a look at a website and kind of see its metrics and see kind of what's working and what's not working with the website. So the first thing that I noticed right here is your number of backlinks and referring domains. Um, so basically, a backlink and referring domains is the number of websites that are actually pointing back to your website. So right now, it shows that you have a total of 15 uh, total websites with 46 links text links that are pointing back to your website. Uh, this is a very important metric that Google utilizes to determine which website should rank higher than another website for a given keyword or query. Um, so right now with the 15 uh, websites pointing back to your website, um, especially for a phrase like um, buying homes and, and real estate and things like that for a given given city and state, it's a lot larger. You definitely need a lot more referring domains. You definitely need a lot more backlinks. I'm talking like closer to about 300, 350, 400 referring domains with about 3,000, 4,000 backlinks. That's going to really help you catapult you up to the top of the page, uh, top of Google for a lot of the phrases that you're probably looking for in terms of buying homes in, in New Jersey and selling homes in New Jersey. So definitely want to make sure that you have quality, um, relevant websites. So in terms of relevant, I mean like um, those websites that are pointing back to your website should probably have to do with homes and buying real estate and, and that kind of stuff pointing back to your uh, main page by doing that um, like I said you're gonna get a lot more credit through Google and you're just gonna rank higher it's just a very important metric we do uh, SEO stuff all day this is how we get paid we know exactly kind of what Google is looking for and we know that in order to crack the code this is part of that right um, so the next thing that I can see is your organic keywords. Basically, this is the number of different phrases that you currently rank for in Google. So if someone were to type, we buy home or where to sell house New Jersey, that would be a phrase that someone searches in Google that you get credit for. Um, 69 is basically the number of traffic that you're getting per month right here. Um, this is a little bit lower than it actually is, but it's a, a good gauge of kind of what how many people are actually visiting your website currently. So let me go ahead and... Uh, Talk about the next thing um, right here. So let me take a look at your website. The first thing that I can notice is I absolutely love this right here. Let's get a free quote for your home. This is something that not a lot of people are doing to capture leads. And this is absolutely necessary to, to make sure that you're growing your business. Just make sure that these are forwarding correctly. And um, we've had some issues even with a lot of our opt-in forms where only half of them were coming through. So definitely just make sure to double check that all of those uh, um, submissions are actually going through to your inbox and that you're answering them as soon as possible because that helps with conversion, right? Just answering them sooner than later because a lot of people that are visiting websites are submitting their info to a lot of different places and a lot of the times it's the first people that call them. Um, the next thing I notice is, do you see this phone number right here, the 848-469-2389 number? Um, I would make it a lot more front and center, maybe even at the top right here as a uh, link, as a phone link so that when people are on their website, they don't have to go through and, and try and find your website number, or I'm sorry, not your website number, your phone number. Um, and that way, if it's a link, if they're on their phone especially, they can just tap on it and it'll take them straight to the dial pad and they can just call you that way. Um, the next thing I, I definitely uh, can see might be an issue with your website is just having more content. Um, content is a very another very important metric in Google's algorithm that Google utilizes to determine which website should rank higher. Um, so if you think about it, Google's kind of main goal with its search uh, uh, search engine is to connect the best website, the most relevant website, to uh, to a given search or query, right? So um, what I mean by that is when someone searches up how to be the best clown in the world, um, you want to make sure uh, Google. I'm sorry, not you. Google wants to make sure that the first website that us uh, that shows up is a website that's highly highly relevant for how to be the best clown in, in the world, right? So that the content on that website is going to talk about what it is to be a clown, what it means to be the best clown, what it means to be the best clown in the world, and maybe like the outfits, maybe the benefits and and um, the downsides of it, and then 
and then you just have a lot of good relevant content. That's the kind of website that Google is looking for um, to show up at the top of Google and you want to help Google um, and, you, and, you, and your job um, in terms of the online website is to help show Google that you deserve to be at the top spot. You want to make it as easy as possible for Google to see that you should deserve the top spot. So um, when you go in here and you have this website, you want to have a lot of content. I'm talking like at least 500 to 1,000 words per page. Uh, by doing this, you show Google, hey, we um, are a very authoritative website, not because, not only because we have the backlinks that I talked about earlier, but because we also have the content right here to show you, show these people. We answer the questions about what it means to buy a house in New Jersey. Um, what are the um, what is the work involved? Um, how long it's going to take? Why does why do we deserve your business? Like why are we better than everyone else? We have a quicker turnaround time. We buy everything with cash. That kind of stuff. That way you show Google in the back end that you have all this relevant content to um, the given keywords. Now I haven't talked about the keywords that you need to go after. Obviously I can definitely do that if you're interested. Um, but then you take and then make sure that the content has those kinds of phrases sprinkled in into it that way Google can, Google's uh, spiders crawlers can go through your website go through the content and then recognize that this is a website that's about um, buying a house in New Jersey this is a website that's about um, buying um, selling your house in New Jersey and that kind of thing so definitely shoot for a lot more content than you have and you want to optimize the content for the given uh, phrases give, given things that people are actually searching for right what's the point of making a big page on your website about how to sell uh, in the winter when no one how to sell your house in the winter in, um, when no one's actually searching for that kind of phrase uh, into Google right so what we do is we go in there figure out exactly what kind of phrases people are already searching for and then optimizes optimize the page so that you get credit for it and you start ranking at the top of Google for those kinds of phrases right so, so the first thing I talked about was backlinks. The second thing I talked about was content. The last thing I want to really want to touch up on real quick is your citations. A citation is basically the number of uh, directories that you can submit to with your name, address, phone number, and the services that you provide. So um, in your case, I noticed right here in the contact us, um, you have this PO box, which is fine. Um, and then you have your phone number and the name. Um, by submitting your information to a bunch of these directories, it not only shows, it's kind of like a backlink, but it also shows Google that you are a legitimate business in a different regard. So in this case, what it shows Google is that you are a legitimate business with an address, with a legitimate address in New Jersey. It also shows Google that you have a phone number that's a legitimate phone number in New Jersey. And then it talks about uh, the, the services that you provide. By doing this, you show Google that, hey, um, and, and by submitting all these citations, by submitting all these business directories, something that you're not doing, that a lot of your competitors are not doing, you're showing Google, hey, you know, I am a legitimate business. I have this phone number. I have these services. I clearly deserve to be ranking for any local searches um, that pertains to New Jersey and real estate and buying and selling homes. That way, um, Google can clearly see, okay, you got your backlinks, you got your content, and you've got um, the citations. You got this trifecta of clearly showing Google, making as easy as possible possible for Google to say, hey, this website definitely deserves to be at the top. It has all the elements that we're looking for, and that's going to catapult you to the top of the page for um, top of the uh, search search engines for all kinds of phrases, especially as we start building up the inner pages and start um, optimizing the content that way. So um, there's a lot of opportunity for you to really make this business pop and really make this website bring in a lot of traffic, a lot of leads to your a website, not even necessarily an organic. We have a lot of other ways we can do it, like paid advertising. You can do click funnels. You can do Facebook ads, Google AdWords, uh, Yahoo Bing ads, all kinds of stuff. I only touched on um, SEO because I understand that's kind of what you were generally looking for. But um, that's the kind of stuff that we can do here at Rocket Ship SEO. I hope this uh, video kind of uh, informed you a little bit. Um, if anything, maybe you could use this video as a reference that other SEO people can use, and you can gauge kind of what they know or what they do and and if they really know what they're talking about. Um, so um, I'll shoot this out to you. Um, I'll probably follow up with you if you don't um, email me back just to make sure that you actually got the video. And then maybe we can kind of talk about pricing or anything like that from there. So I appreciate it if you watch this uh, video all the way through. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Adriana. Take care.